people don't necessarily understand or even accept the fact that we might be able to live forever. And for me, that's the main thing about transhumanism, which is different than other things. Um, can you kind of describe that sure. idea? Sure. You know, so I just like to say transhumanism is an international uh, social movement of people trying to use science and technology to radically modify or improve the human body and improve the human experience. And that could range from anything from bionic hearts to artificial limbs to cranial implants to driverless cars. Um, Our mobile phones? Yeah, it depends on how you look at it. I mean, okay. some people will say transhumanism was the first time a primate picked up a rock and made an ax out of it um, or a hammer. Uh, but, you know, I like to think of transhumanism more in terms of the radical science that we're just uh, encroaching upon in our, in our you know, lives and in civilization right now. Um, but certainly an iPhone, <laughs> I mean, if you look back even five years, how dramatic it's, it, in some smartphones, what it's done to society, it's very transhumanist. And um, I think the one thing, you know, I'd have a, your audience know is that the, the primary goal of transhumanism is to try to overcome um, biological death. And there's a number of methods to do that. You can do that through either, um, for example, 3D printing new organs, organ failure being one of the main reasons people die. You can uh, change your genetic structure and try to make it so you can stop aging. Or you can maybe even do you know, pretty science fiction-y things like upload yourself into a machine. There's a number of methods that transhumanists are approaching this problem of death. Um, but um, you know, they're all ways to try to essentially make it so that we don't have to die. Kind of going back to even my Vietnam experience, which is just everyone at some point, all transhumanists at some point have had a revelation saying, wow, um, life is so wonderful or life is so important to me that I want to find a way to preserve that life. It freaks a lot of people out. I'm sure religious people come to you, um, all sorts of other spiritual people, people come to you, they say, uh, you know, de death is, is, is not the end, it's, a, it's part of the process, you know. Uh, what, what, what do you say, do you have arguments for all these different angles that hit you? To watch the rest of this fascinating interview, click on the link below and go to LondonRealAcademy.com. There you can sign in with your social media login and watch the rest of the episode for free, along with all of our episodes on London Real, my webinars, and all of our premium content, all located over at LondonRealAcademy.com. So click on the link below, you'll be directed there and you can watch the rest of this fascinating interview, and I'll see you there.